Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on, guys? I'm Ace Money and this is Sportsbook Robbery. Uh, NFL, second game Friday. I believe it's played in Brazil. We got Packers versus the Eagles. Uh, opened up at plus two and a half, over under 49. Right now it's at plus two, uh, it's at 49. Pack is on the dog, plus 110. Weather's supposed to be 64 degrees Fahrenheit, no rain, five miles per hour is wind. No real injuries. Uh, I was checking out the lines. The Friday, uh, Thursday game didn't go yet. And uh, I started looking at these lines and just wanted to get them in before they change. All right, so uh, someone in the comments earlier made a good point and said how I should probably try to put like my favorite plays and uh, unit size, which my units, uh, not unit size, but how many units? I always bet one unit. I don't jockey my bets. Uh, unless it's a high plus money play, I'll sometimes do a half a unit. But if I don't say anything, it's one unit. All right, so Saquon Barkley, newest addition, running back uh, to the Eagles. Go alt line this line back to 59 and a half. Uh, Started at 78 and a half when it opened, and at today it was 64 and a half. Uh, and right now, this is another reason why I made the video just now because I've seen I can get it back down to 59 and a half. Always check uh, alternative lines, like I always say. And if you're new to the channel, if you're spending more money, a decent amount of money, alt line it back even more. You want to spend hundreds of dollars, get it at minus 210. You know, say you spend $500, yeah, you only make 200, but you, it's more of a guaranteed hit then. You know, but uh, 59 and a half minus 125. Uh, right now it's September 4th, about to be September 5th. It's just turning to midnight. Uh, they're playing in Brazil, so no home turf. They're both away. And uh, beginning of the season, fresh. Uh, I'm just saying 59 yards, 60 yards is is very low for him. Uh, he's going to try to impress, be on a new team. Uh, I'm not saying he'll go much over it, but he should go over it. Uh, I don't know too much about the teams. I'll know more as the season goes on, obviously. I'm a Bills fan myself, so I know them in and out. But uh, I know Barkley can play. And with a decent team around him, he's going to get off and go. Um, this leads me to my second play. I know Barkley can catch. So I'm doing... Reception yards over 15 and a half. Uh, I played on FanDuel minus 113. Let's see if we can get it even lower. No, it is the lowest. But uh, last year, even watching him over the years, he's as, as a running back, he can catch. He can even, you know run a, uh, a straight line, a straight route, flag route, whatever you want to call it, and uh, catch that ball down the sideline, uh, catch a screen pass and just take off, open field. But uh, I see that number definitely going up next week too. But, um, I mean, I personally, I don't know how they're going to 
play together this year and everything else, I just think these lines are, are, are too low and uh, they're going to look to lean on him more than what these lines are saying. So those are the two plays I got for Barkley. Uh, 59 and a half rushing yards and over 15 and a half receiving yards. That line also went down, opened up at 17 and a half. Next up, uh, it's only four plays, so it's definitely one of my favorite plays as well. Jake Elliott kicking points over six and a half, minus 120, 130 on uh, DraftKings. I played it. No bet 365 in New York. Uh, got it on the year, the whole 2023 20, year. Seen the beginning of the year, 13, 10. 11, 14. He's gone over that many times. He's a good kicker. Uh, he's exceeded six and a half kicking points in six of his last seven games at home. Not playing at home, though. No. Uh, what's the length? Longest field goal, 37 yards. Uh, attempts, 40 for 49. Uh, it's definitely a decent kicker. Couple touchdowns. Uh, over on this, uh, were 49, I think I said. Couple touchdowns. Uh, two field goals, one touchdown. He's over it. You know, uh, just think it's going to be some scoring. And especially if they get to that 49 number around it, or even if they get stopped, hit the couple field goals. Uh, good kickers. Uh, these plays worked out well for me last year, so uh, I'm going to continue with them and see how it goes. Kicking points against Green Bay last year, ranked 22nd. But, uh, yeah, Jake Elliott, kicking points over 6.5. It's a key number, 6.5. I mean, 5.5 would be great, but 6.5 is good. You don't want to go above that because two field goals and an extra point. Makes sense, right? All right. All right, last up, I'm going on Luke Musgrave. Uh, receiving yards over 24 and a half. Minus 113, FanDuel. Minus 130, DraftKings. So, yeah, I say it all the time. I'm going to continue to say it. You have multiple books, you know, always line shop, odd shop. Um, he's tight end one for the Packers now. So uh, they got his receptions at two and a half. They're gonna have three and a half. It's it gets uh, plus money. You could read the sports books and the lines and basically figure out what each play is gonna do. Once you learn how to do all that, it gets a little easier. But uh, the line at two and a half, and then at one and a half, it's minus three sixty. So they're saying he's gonna get that. There are uh, there's odds, and then there's a percentage that the odds equal. And uh, the info on my on the beginning of my channel, there's there's a link there that'll it'll break it down for you. It'll tell you the odds for versus the percentages. But uh. So I got it right here. Over one and a half minus three sixty. Well, minus four hundred is eighty percent odds to hit. So they're giving eighty or just about eighty percent, say seventy five percent chance to go over one and a half. So you know he's gonna get at least two. Uh, last year he was averaging about eleven yards per carry, uh, per catch, three receptions a game. Uh, I just figure Philly too last year overall 31 ranked and uh, receptions allowed 21st to the tight end position. Just figure a couple third downs. 
uh, you know, hit him, make it hit him twice, he could go over it. That's why I went with the yards instead of receptions. A uh, couple of check downs, you know, key plays, third down plays, stuff like that. It usually is a tight end play. Uh, they lock down the wide receivers on the end, throw a little slant route, crossing route. And uh, last year, he he's cleared this first game. He had 50 yards, cleared it several times. Hold on, I went back to 26 and a half. We played at 24 and a half. All these alt line look for the lowest number. 24 and a half looks much better, right? But, uh, yeah, as the weeks go on, seasons go on, we get more stats and data. I get a little more analytical and seem a little sharper. I apologize for the roughness. Uh, just going off gut feelings and what I think is going to happen. Uh, if you could like the video, if this video ends up working out for you and you're a new viewer, hit that subscribe button. And uh, everyone turn your notifications on. That's where you get my plays, my live bets, all my videos, WNBA, football, any anything I do, you get. I try to be as transparent as possible. I am a sports better, so every play I give you, I actually bet. Um, I do appreciate everyone. Let's get it. East money to name, get paid for the game. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you.